This is American Truck Simulator, normally a game where you get to enjoy a peaceful drive across the country. Truck, I'm coming, whether you like it. Ah, hello, other truck, I'm coming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now let's find out why I should never be allowed to drive a truck again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. All right, Cap, we're all fueled up. Gotta go pick up some, what are we hauling, rye today here in Burlington, Colorado, right? Yep. All right. What do you say we hit the road? I'll follow you, because I don't have it plugged into my GPS. All right. Well, <laughs> might be a good idea. <laughs> Sounds like you need to plug it into yours, too, huh? All right, let me... Here, I'll pull it up here. What is that, a Peterbilt 579? Yep, with the high-rise sleeper. Very nice. I'm currently in a Freightliner FLD, I believe, or more affectionately known as the Freight Shaker. What kind of transmission you got in that thing? Rocking a 13 speed, my guy. What about you? I got a seven speed automatic. Seven speed automatic. Oh gosh, he's one of a certified steering wheel holder here, everybody. Yeah, well, <laughs> you gotta hold something. Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm holding two things. It's a party in here. <laughs> oh boy. I do believe we're headed into Emporia, Kansas, is where we should be going today. Emporia, yeah. Yes, sir. I forgot where we were going already. Hey, you do so many loads, it gets to the point where they all kind of blend together. I should probably actually... Well, you know, that looks pretty clear. Let's just go ahead and take this lane. Beautiful. Ooh, there's a, a Dodge with a cattle trailer. Oh, that was a red light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. It shows how much I'm paying attention. Good thing there you, were no cars. Are you trucking for Swift up there, boy? Is it just me or just driving a hopper bottom through a residential neighborhood feel a little strange? Just a little bit. All right. Oh, that turn is sooner than I thought it was. I thought it was the next one over. And I'm, oh God, I'm not going to make that turn. Look at me. A, a noob of trucking. Maybe I should apply for Swift or something, huh? All of us have to at one point in time. Hey man, I got to... This turn is more tight than it looks like it should be. We'll line up underneath here and get all loaded up. All right, Cap, they just got me all finished and loaded up here. I took the opportunity to wash off my windows a little bit. We're loaded up, ready to hit the road. Nice. They pull out from the old grain set up there and I'll follow you. It wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a convoy. Without a little mayhem, am I right? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wouldn't be a convoy uh, boy if it wasn't breaks. for if it wasn't for running stop signs. Uh, well, it's what happens when you're fully loaded? Yeah, and, you forget and, that your brakes are you know take a minute. Yep. Are you sure you're not a Swift driver? I'm 100 percent sure. Well, Swift, even. Denied my application. Oh, well, luckily, I, I, I do know a, a, a truck I'm coming, whether you like it. Ah, hello, other truck I'm coming. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> so hey. you, want to talk about, you want to talk about Swift? <laughs> hey, I need an application for that trucking company you're part of. Because if they'll hire you, they'll definitely hire me. I just proved I'm qualified. Well, Burlington, <laughs> it's been fun, but we got to leave. We got to... 350 mile journey and we've only gone like two miles in it and we've already wrecked so you know how you know you know it's gonna be a good one yeah i might have to pay the city of burlington for that sign i just took out oh yeah this has not been a we should never be allowed to drive semis when we actually truck a lot for fun just to pass time and, and hang out right yep. and when we do that we're actually really good drivers but for some reason, the second we click record, it's always like, that's always the time we mess everything up. Yeah, you, you put a camera in front of my face and I get a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you turn on a camera and all of a sudden I don't know how to drive anymore. It's it's crazy. Right. But, oh, look at you tipping. Jeez. Uh, no, I'm... Uh-huh, I watched it. <laughs> I watched it, Cap. Yeah, well... Yeah, well. <laughs> I, I don't have a response, I just... 
Uh, you're, we we just cruising. Than me. Yeah, I, Mr. Slowpoke, Mr. Seven Speed Automatic, Certified Steering Wheel, st Steering Wheel Hold. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm an eight low and still passing you. Dude, I think this is a six speed, honestly. <laughs> I'm an eight low, and I'm passing you. Can I get over? Yeah. All right. Uh, Coming over. I, I, a semi could fit in between us. Yeah. Well, perfect. That means you have room to hit the brakes. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be enough. No, it won't, because whenever I'm in front of you, at least once, I get a little a little tap. Uh, a, a little tap. Yeah, hit. just to hit let me know me. that you're still there, you know? Yep. Oh, now you can fit two semi trucks. <laughs> How you're, fast are you going? I'm on 65. I'm only at 58. Oh dear. All right, I'll slow down. You know, I said 65 and there I did 70. So, oh, look, fancy floating signs. Love them. <laughs> oh, wow. Where You'll are love we? You love to see them. You really do. <laughs> oh god, I'm in third person. Oh, gee, I'm going to die. Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you remember when I said I was at 65? Yeah. Yeah, at 50. <laughs> that uh, hill kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's take a break from the chaos, which won't last long. We'll be back to chaos soon, probably. And let's talk about Texas. What do you think about, th when? when is Texas coming? I want Texas for SES. Texas or, is coming when Texas comes. Texas is coming when, te well, yeah, but come on, when's it gonna be here? Uh, I want I want to drive in a new, man, they going slow, bro. Why everyone going so slow? Back to the chaos. But what? <laughs> oh, and the tree limbs! Good lord, who designed this road? Oh, cut your trees! <laughs> oh. Life of anyway, a trucker. Back to Texas. <laughs> yeah, anyways, back on topic. Texas. I'm excited um, for it. We need a new state. It's been a minute. I know we're going to spend a lot of time in Texas. We're going to spend so much time in Texas. But then, what I'm more excited for, after you get Texas and, and Montana out of the way, we're on to the Midwest. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah. Get some Midwest trucking. I mean, it'll easily... And I'm, I'm actually curious to see what they do with some of the states in the Midwest. Right. Like, like drop locations or pick up locations. It, it just it leaves so much open. Yeah, I gotta I'm, make sure I'm going to get over here. I would love to see the more unique pick up and drop off locations. I'd love to see you know you pull out into a field underneath the combine and there's just a loading animation like you know the corn coming out of the auger animation or whatever. You just pull up underneath it, or I guess really whatever you're, you're hauling a piece of equipment we'll pull into the a farmyard but like a legitimate farmyard not like an SCS farmyard to be honest right I don't know I don't know I, I have seen that uh, we actually had one in a video recently that there have been some people making these these specific map yards and map locations and I think that's really cool. I think if uh, modders start to make these kind of custom, you know, drop off and pick up locations, right. that would be really cool. A great addition to the game. Seasons would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree to that. Weather. Wind. Wind effect. Would be amazing. I mean, just, just weather effects in general. Yeah. yeah. I mean, knowing what season it is in north or united states and then rely like relaying that to what it is in the game would i mean i mean it doesn't even have to be that though like you can literally just have a cycle where like you know these days for you know these three days are this season these three days are this season these three days are this you know whatever yeah it, it could even just be a rotating cycle like that or something or you could set it. Yeah, or you could <laughs> set it so you, if you, in case you wanted one specifically. Um, actually having to, with that, if you do have seasons, if you do have this inclement weather, weather, being able to step out of your truck and chain up. There are locations yeah. on the map already for you to chain up. You just can't actually do it. Right. 
Yeah. Now, there, there's a lot that you can go into detail with the, this game, and I think it it might make it one of the best simulators out there. I agree. I agree. I think there's a lot that can be done, and I think it, I think the game has been making the right steps every single bit of improvement they've done. I think SES is doing a fantastic job. I know. Uh, I know. I, I'm loving the states. Every time they do a new state, it's the best state. Oh, there's so many phone signs on this part of the map, by the way. Yeah, there is. <laughs> there's also a lot of trees. Yeah, this is coast to coast. In case anyone was unaware, we're on a mod. This is not a base game map. No, they don't normally look like this. <laughs> not, nothing against coast to coast. It's just SES puts all the time and effort into a single state while coast to coast does the effort of trying to give you all the states so you can at least drive through them, right? Different focus. Yep. Should, might, must be nice having a 13 speed. Yeah? Yeah, a little yep. bit. You having some trouble back there again, buddy? Yeah, I can barely see on the horizon. Oh dear. You know? Well, it's um, fine. I'll, but, I'll get there eventually. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not about it's about progress. You know, I saw them floating signs and I thought it was starting to rain and I got concerned. Oh, yeah. Yep. We got about 50 miles let it go. Mm -hmm. You know what else used to be... So SES, they had a series of games called 18 Wheels of Steel. I don't know if you ever played any of them. I never played any of them. One of them was 18 Wheels of Steel Holland. I played a ton of that game. And in that game, there were some really cool things that are just not a part of ATS. And I think they should be brought back. One of them was use of the CB specifically to AI traffic. In other words, you could go into like this little menu with, the, with these buttons, and you could, you could say or ask certain things. You could ask what the weather's like up ahead, and then you would get a response telling you if it was going to rain soon or not. You could ask if yep. there were any cops up ahead. You could ask what the traffic was like up ahead. All kinds of stuff. One of the other things, this was a little bit more in depth um, when it came to jobs. So let's say you had a truck, you had a trailer, you yep. had drivers. Well, those drivers didn't just drive random jobs like they do now. Those drivers drove jobs that your company was contracted to do. Oh, that's cool. In other words, you would fulfill a job or a certain number of jobs for a company. If you ran one or maybe five or whatever jobs for ADM, for example, they would grant you with a contract of blank many, you know, hauls or trucks, yep. right? Now you could assign that contract to a driver, a truck and trailer, right? That right. was cool. A little bit more in-depth management uh, on that matter. Now that is cool not and th i mean that's cool by itself but you add that to a a essentially a, a co-op co save where it actually now matters can, yeah now you can assign one of your drivers right uh, as you know another real person right a contract with a company and they have so many loads to complete or whatever exactly and then, you know, I mean, there's so much. Co-op, a co-op save opens up the possibilities for a whole lot of stuff and really makes the game start to shine. It gives a purpose to having multiple garages. It gives a purpose to having multiple trucks. It gives a purpose to keeping trucks that you've had for a while because you can just give those to the new guys or the people that mess up a lot, right? It gives yep. a purpose to caring about your fuel bill. Your travel and expenses your your, your fuel cost your anything yeah, damage everything literally everything but that is going to be it for this one we just reached our destination so if you want to hear more conversations like this then make sure you check out more ats content and until next time i'll see y'all later peace <laughs> <laughs>